Well, it's Thursday. The week is plowing along and um, just taking care of a whole bunch of stuff here. It's supposed to drop in L.A. about 20, 20 25 degrees over the next couple of days. So hopefully uh, we'll be entering in towards winter. Um, my fingers are crossed. That, that's really my season. I'm not a summer guy. I really, I really do like winter. Um, so different things going on. The, um, the t-shirts are close to being delivered, so I'll be putting them up on the site as a reminder. Here's, here's the shirt. It's pretty silly stuff here. Um, hold on. There we go. Hanging on the floor back there where I hang all my, my stuff. Um, had, was doing some work yesterday and managed to drop a big pipe. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, thumb is pretty trashed right now. <clears throat> Pressing on the back of it's a little bit sore. So I decided today I'm just going to play some music. And I'm going to give this thing a little bit of a rest. It never, it never fails. Anytime I get a chance to do a, a project, I always seem to have to make some kind of an injury to validate the end result. But it'll be fine. The funniest part of it is Blue, who I, I did the book with, has a, the same injury, except his was really bad. He got it caught in a motor and uh, in a... In a a drive, I think, on a gate, and um, his nail is going to be disappearing. He had to drill a hole in it to relieve the pressure and all this. So I laughed yesterday. I sent him a picture of it. I said, guess what? I said, more than with the book, I said, we're bonded by the thumb. It's uh, pretty, pretty sad. Um, but I was thinking about, you know, something just to play today, and there's a couple of songs I'm going to do um, that were off of an album by Wilson Phillips that I worked with called Calif the album's called California and Peter Asher produced it and they did uh, it's a bu it's a lot of covers uh, Larry Klein played on about half of it who's just a fabulous bassist you know I love Larry um, and then I, I did about half of it and the, the two songs I'm going to do I, I put together a little list here of credits so everybody gets their due on it um, the first song I'm going to do, it was really funny when we got in the studio and they said, oh, we want to do Doctor My Eyes. <laughs> really? Okay, okay. So we're, um, the first one I'm going to play is Doctor My Eyes, and it's me and Russ again on it, and David Rolf and uh, Rob Bonfiglio and Dean Parks playing guitar. Uh, David and Rob are playing acoustics on it, and Dean's playing electric. Roger Manning's playing the Wurlitzer, on this, and um, the wonderful John Gilliton is playing B3 organ on it, and the percussion was by Peter Asher, and Wendy's singing lead vocals on it, and um, David Campbell um, did the conducting with the orchestra and the arrangements. David, I mean, it's so funny, we all go back. The first time I worked with David was on Jackson Brown's first record, where he played violin on it. And then he became one of the major arrangers on the L.A. pop music scene. And David's son is Beck. So these things, these big circles. And Nathaniel was there, Kunkel Engineering, you know, who's Russ's son. So it's, it's interesting. And then the second song I'm going to do is Dance, Dance, Dance. End us up on a uptune. And again, it's me, Russ, Dean, uh, Roger Manning on organ, uh, David Rolfe and Rob, Rob Bonfiglio and Peter Asher. So first one I'm going to do is Doctor My Eyes. It was a kick to, to do this. Um, it's always kind of funny. I've, I, I've done a, several album projects where uh, people said, oh, let's do Doctor My Eyes. <laughs> and, uh, I always end up going back to the original and just puts a smile on my face. It was such a magical experience with Jackson uh, doing that. So here's Doctor My Eyes at, done by Wilson Phillips.
Plus is backbeat. That's fun. It's really fun just to go visit these songs again, you know, and doing them with other artists is always a great one. And it's really fun with the girls. Um, Carney and Wendy, I've known them for so long. I mean, in, in, in China, I, I mean, I, I, I did an album with Mackenzie Phillips. I did an album with John Phillips. I mean, we've all intertwined and, and connected in so many ways over the years. And I was so proud of the girls when they formed their group and uh, and and took off it's uh uh it's like wendy and lisa who were singing with prince that was mike melvoin and, and um gary coleman's daughters and those guys were two of the staples of the wrecking crew and i'd worked with them for years and all of a sudden their daughters are out there working with prince and making a name for themselves too so it's always uh it's really thrilling you know to to be involved with other generations of a family that are successful and um so that was a real real kick and then dance 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 this is fun this is uh, suddenly we're in beach boys land here so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and play this one for you let me just rack it up here i feel like a like a dj here um so this is dance 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 wilson phillips and i gave you all the uh, particulars on these and so let's let's enjoy another song <laughs> I love this line. Dean. Fun stuff, fun stuff, and all this, all the songs on this. The album's called California, Wilson Phillips, um, but there's a whole bunch of really great songs on it that they've done, that they revisited in their way. So that was really, really cool. Um, I, I might end up doing this for a couple of days while this thumb calms down a bit. It's, I just hope I don't, you know, end up losing the nail and everything, but we'll see. But it definitely was one of those things. The minute that pipe hit it. I, I knew something wasn't going to be good. Oh, God. 
you know, it's like there's enough stress in the world without adding to the equation, Jesus. Um, still uh, in limbo here in, in, in this world. We don't know quite what's going on yet, but we'll find out eventually. Um, main thing is to be safe. Um, I, I've posted on Instagram and also on Facebook. I'm, I'm actually going to do a book signing. Um, there's a Cliff Jones has a uh, a company called LA Vintage Gear. It's one of the best music stores in Los Angeles. It has absolutely fantastic um, old beautiful amps, instruments, and stuff. And he is a, he's a one special cat. And he said, "Let's do a book sign. We'll do it really careful. We'll set up. Everybody will be distanced. You have to wear masks. Do the whole nine yards. But we're doing it on December seventh." And I think it's gonna. We're gonna start at like five o'clock, and uh, by then I'll have books, and I'll just you know for anybody who's local um, that hasn't gotten one, come on down, and and uh, we'll we'll have some fun. So I'm throwing that out there. I'll be mentioning it as as it gets closer because it's a month away um, from now, but uh, a little over a month. But um, it'll be fun. But we'll make it safe because uh, I mean, I'm the last person that wants to do anything that puts anybody in harm's way. This is all I talk about. And I don't really do anything. Um, but Cliff said, no, we'll make it really safe for everybody. So we're looking forward to that. Have a couple of uh, Zoom interviews today that I'm looking forward to. And then we're going to do a thing tomorrow with the band, a Zoom uh, thing. And then we're doing a thing, I believe, for uh, for the NAM show, the, the virtual NAM show, we're going to be doing a thing for them also on uh, Zoom tomorrow. Um, so lots of little things keep happening and stuff, but the main thing is, uh, once again, just stay safe. Uh, none of this matters if you're not here um, to be a part of it. So take good care of yourselves, your families, your friends. Um, again, I am so thrilled I'm getting um, emails messages every day from Judith Owen showing me her new puppies and she is beyond freaking out with love for for um, for Aretha the little girl um, chocolate lab and for Franklin the little boy chocolate lab and uh, and it's, those pups couldn't have asked for a better household so I'm thrilled and just looking forward to the day that we can all get together and have puppy play day um, I'm gonna. I'll be flipping out too. Um, I'll probably get over to Judas, maybe over the next week, and do some more music with her. And uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, thank you. You know, once again, I mean, somebody pointed out too. You know, all, all. You know, there's all the people like that are working in schools, in hospitals, in fire departments, in post office, in groceries, everybody. But there's so many people that are handling things that people have all touched um, that are trying to stay safe. So thank you to everybody out there who's doing what they can. Um, I mean, the numbers keep getting worse. I know out in here, in I think in, it was California, not Los Angeles, might have been L.A., set a new record, a one-day record for, for infections. I mean, this is not going away anytime soon, especially when you see people that are kind of just getting pissed off, so they're just saying, I don't need it, and then watch the news and there's people like in Trader Joe's and, and, and Target stores that are having giant hissy fits over being told they have to wear a mask and they start trashing the place and stuff. I mean, people are really out of their minds at times. Um, the most important thing is to get this behind us so we can start to function as a community again. And just think community. It's not individual. We are part of a community. And let's respect the community and not just what's good for me is good for me and, you know, tough for you. So, um, so that's it. Thank you, everybody out there. And uh, I'm going to get jamming now and uh, take care of a bunch of crap I've got to do. And, uh, and I will see you tomorrow. I may play a couple of songs again tomorrow just uh, until my uh, thumb comes down because it's, it's really pressing the back of the neck. It, that's what puts the pressure on it. So it doesn't feel good. It's not the end of the world and it'll be fine. But uh, it's just annoying when, when you do something and you just sit there and you think, what an idiot, what an idiot. But it's all hindsight at that point. So, you know, what can you say? So I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great day and, uh, and just uh, like that. Bye-bye.